In this video, I will describe how each of the following functions in the extrinsic control of GFR. Sympathetic nervous system, renin-angiotensin mechanism, and natriuretic peptides. The extrinsic control of glomerular filtration rate by the sympathetic nervous system involves the sympathetic efferent fibers of the renal nerve releasing norepinephrine and norepinephrine binds to receptors on the vascular smooth muscle of the afferent arteriole stimulating contraction and this constriction of the afferent arteriole increases resistance to blood flow into the glomerulus leading to a decrease in the glomerular blood hydrostatic pressure leading to decreased net filtration pressure and decreased glomerular filtration rate. So in response to a stressful situation, part of the fight or flight stress response coordinated by the sympathetic nervous system is to decrease the amount of blood being filtered in the kidneys. This will make sense if you had a stressful situation that led to bleeding you would want to maintain as much blood volume in the circulation as possible and it's not really necessary to send a large amount of blood to the kidneys when you're dealing with this acutely stressful situation. The renin angiotensin mechanism provides another extrinsic control of glomerular filtration rate. This is initiated as cells of the macula densa within the distal convoluted tubule detect a low sodium concentration of the filtrate. This stimulates the macula densa to secrete a paracrine signal called prostaglandin E2. Prostaglandin E2 then binds to receptors in the juxtaglomerular cells surrounding the afferent arteriole and stimulates the juxtaglomerular cells to secrete renin. Renin is an enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1. Angiotensinogen is a precursor of a hormone that is secreted by the liver and is circulating in the blood. So, Angiotensinogen is converted to angiotensin 1 by the enzyme renin. Then angiotensin 1 still requires further activation to become a fully functional hormone. The angiotensin converting enzyme is found in the endothelium of blood vessels in the lungs. So as the blood containing angiotensin 1 flows through the pulmonary circuit. Angiotensin 1 is activated to form angiotensin 2 by the action of the angiotensin converting enzyme. Then angiotensin 2 is the active hormone that can bind to receptors on the surface of vascular smooth muscle cells, stimulating vasoconstriction of the afferent arteriole will lead to a decrease in glomerular filtration rate. So angiotensin 2 will cause widespread vasoconstriction as a mechanism to increase blood pressure, but will also cause vasoconstriction of the afferent arteriole, leading to a decrease in glomerular blood hydrostatic pressure, a decrease in the net filtration pressure and a resulting decrease in the glomerular filtration rate. As we move on to discuss more the regulation of reabsorption, we'll see that angiotensin II can also have a function to stimulate the cells in the adrenal cortex to secrete another hormone known as aldosterone. And aldosterone will have an effect in the kidney to stimulate the reabsorption of sodium. 
Another extrinsic control mechanism regulating glomerular filtration rate is the natriuretic peptides. Atrial natriuretic peptide is secreted by the heart muscle cells, the cardiomyocytes or myocardial cells in response to stretching. An increase in plasma volume can lead to stretching of the atria in the heart, stimulating an increased secretion of atrial natriuretic peptide that binds to receptors on the vascular smooth muscle, leading to dilation of the afferent arteriole. And at the same time, constriction of the efferent arteriole. Together, these effects will increase glomerular blood hydrostatic pressure, leading to increased net filtration pressure and increased glomerular filtration rate. Another effective atrial natriuretic peptide is to inhibit the secretion of renin, leading to decreased activity of the renin angiotensin mechanism, which would also lead to this increase in glomerular filtration rate. So atrial natriuretic peptide is only one of several natriuretic peptides. There's also a brain natriuretic peptide that's produced in the brain, but has similar functions to atrial natriuretic peptide to stimulate an increase in the glomerular filtration rate.